Hello, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you a fun way to find out what variations do. And we're gonna take that method and turn it into a way to make fractals using a lot of scripts. So let's get started. Uh, we go to files and new 2D fractal. And I go to the export editor. From here, I had two uh, transforms, and let's add something to the first one, and let's add a square. There we have it. Now, to this is the base for finding out what different variations do, because now we're going to make a post group to this first transform. And if we add something now to the post groups, so let's add an arch. What this will do, it will change the square and we will see what all the variations do. And we can test different variations like this. Let's have a B collide. Have you here you have parameters? Let's change the parameters and see what happens. This happens. And you can change the other parameter. Like that. Okay. And we can try another one. And you can go through all the variations and find out what they do. Uh, I have I tried to <laughs> go through them all, but. Um, I got stuck. There are a lot of parameters and a lot of uh, variations. But uh, you can try to do like this. You can decide that, well, I want to try all the variations that start with J. Julia. You see the here. The Julia shape. You can try. Let's go back to J. A Julia C. This doesn't look like much, but what happens if you change the parameters? Go into the negative, and you have a black round hole in the middle. And let's try them all to see what happens. And you can increase the max number here so you can... Oh! Suddenly something interesting happens. So this is a way to learn also what the parameters do. And you can see here in the Julia C and uh, the im parameter, whatever that means, it needs to have a rather high setting. Let's try even higher. What if we go to 200? Well, then it doesn't look as interesting anymore. But around here, around 9. Not bad. What happens now if we change the first parameter? Not very much of interest. The distance. You can get it the shape more uh, focused like this. What to find? That's rather interesting. So let's try something else. If we continue with J here, you can have the Julia scope. What does that do? You see? You can build shapes like this. 
and you can get very interesting shapes. Increase the max depth. And here you get it in the negative. Let's take that. You see, this is the principle. A square in X form 1 and in the post group to X form 1, you try out different variations and see what they do. If I add now something to this, uh, let's add a Julia and see what that will do. Ooh, that's rather interesting. Well, let's try that. Yeah, we're going to try to make an interesting fractal out of this now. Because this can be a very in fun way to build fractals. Let's add another X form. Number three there. It's a linear, alright. Let's keep the linear and change the size of its triangle. Can we get it to be interesting in any way? Yeah? Maybe smaller again. That can be rather interesting. If we move the triangle around here and get... Yes, let's try that and we pinch to zoom out a bit. Oh, there's more to see there. Okay. It was a double. Yeah, let's use that. We haven't touched the, uh, the colors now, the color index and the speed, but if we do that, we get different colors on this, let's make different colors there, let's see what we can do with it. Okay, we're done. Go back here, add it to the stash, because it's easier to do it from there, but now the beta crashed. I hope that got saved. It got saved. Great. But let's just continue and pretend that that never happened. Okay. We can start by doing some simple things like changing the, the symmetry and the variation weight. Yeah. You already got very interesting results here. Let's put some of these in the stash. That could be interesting. Or any one of these actually. Let's take that one. Put it in the stash. We make some rows. Some more rows. Oh, yes. Let's take a look at that one. You see? This is a very fun way to make fractals. Let's continue. Oh, I kind of like that one too. So we put that in the stash. Okay. The X form colors. We only changed the X form colors of the, the third X form. Let's try to change everything. Oh, these are like little games, like diamonds. Oh, I like that one. Okay. So, what can we do more? Let's uh, change. Uh, let's add some Lua scripts. And the first I usually try is Hypertile Two. Hmm, that's rather interesting. But we need to zoom out, and they are not centered quite. So we go back 
We have the hypertal 2 selected now. Let's add it to the script list by hitting this icon here. And let's add something more. Uh, I would say that we have a scale to 200 now because that's the default. Let's try scale of 100 and add that to the script list. Go to our script list. We have hypertal 2 and scale 100. Yeah, we see more of the surroundings there, but nothing yet that is very interesting, I think. Well, let's do that with this. We'll go back to the favorites. We have recomposed this. This is the center, I would believe. So let's do like this. Yeah, we take that one and we add it to the stash. Now we have a copy. Yes, and we take that copy and we recenter it like that. And we will like some kind of grid on, on this preview so it would be easier to compose the image. Let's try that. It's reasonably centered, I think. And we go here again to the variance editor and we add a lot of scripts. Um, no, it's empty now. Okay, let's start adding stuff. Let's add a normal variation. Let's add a B circle. Not very interesting, I think. Something else. Remove the B circle and try a kaleidoscope, a kaleidoscope. It's not very interesting yet. Uh, I believe that uh, we don't have any symmetry on this. So let's add symmetry first. Or we I forgot to go back to the list, so it wasn't the, the kaleidoscope that was visible there. You see, these uh, uh, previews with these thumbnails with a lot of dots, that means that the app has a hard time to calculate that fractal. Let's do like this then. We add some... Uh, we add some... Uh, Symmetry. You can see we managed to center it rather well. And we add that to the script list. And let's try to add something else now. Uh, a quick and easy way to find something interesting is to add a final transform. Set one final transform there. Yes. Hmm, I like that one. What we can do with that one is let's take a look at it. Yes. I think that could be made look like some kind of tree. Let's rotate it that I render it portrait mode like that save it try to render it later and go back to variance and let's try two ra uh, final transforms oh, I forgot to unselect it there this is a, an annoying bug. You have to select it, everything again and reselect it to get rid of all those select dots. This gives rather small uh, fractals, but some are very interesting, like this one. Yes.
yes, definitely. Let's keep that. And maybe this. Take a look at that one too. That's also interesting. Well, you can see here that you can go on and on and on like this. But I not don't want to stop yet because I want to add more stuff. Uh, let's add that. Dual transforms. And now we have this. Hmm. Yes. That's nice. That's rather nice. We can go on and on and on. But I want to do more. I have some stuff that I have made myself. A soft mega spiral. That's the one I... Uh, uh, a script that I want to teach you how to make yourself later. Uh, oh, I have to go back there. Soft mega spiral, and I want to add that to the script list. So now we have Fibonacci 13, minus 13, add dual final transforms, and soft mega spiral. What will that give us? Something out of this world, maybe? Yeah, could be rather interesting. Well, if I, I'm gonna do all the variations that I usually do when uh, I do a fractal, this will be uh, over an hour long, so I can't do that. But let's change something. If we want to remove one of these uh, scripts, we go to the minus button here, the flushing one. We remove it. Go to the factory scripts again. Add something that you actually have in the app. Find the stripes and post forky. That can always be something interesting coming out of that one. So let's see what we have. Some rather wide stuff. I like that one. Well, yes. Add that to the stash tool. Make another roll. You see, when you start with a simple shape, you can go through a, a lot of different variations and try to build something interesting. And then you take it into the variance editor and you start adding uh, scripts and you can wind up with almost anything and if you think that rolling the dice eats up a lot of your time when you start adding scripts like this it will eat up even more so see to it that you have a good cup of tea or coffee whatever you prefer and a sandwich so that you can keep on doing this without fainting well okay i think you get the what this is now but i want to show you something else let's add that and we go here this one if you i want to zoom in on this one now i believe i have showed you this before but i will show you to, to you again if we go to final two this is the foggy. If I increase the weight, I can zoom in. Like this. And that's the best way to zoom into a fractal. Because you don't lose quality. So like that, but let's take a look at what these do. I want to have some more definition on this fractal. So what does that yellow come from? Here, x form 2. So let's try to increase the weight of x form 2 by typing a bigger headroom there. See? Now you get more definition. Oh, that's much better. Much, much better. 
Um, let's also go to the layer and the color shading and we try to decrease the gamma never go above 4 with gamma that will make the fractal look watered down yeah you get more definition there and if we do then increase the brightness yes I like that so yeah that's a difference um, try this um, try this as at home even if you are not trained professionals but don't forget to have a safety net in, f in the form of a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a sandwich so you can go on and go on and go on without fainting also if you have find a good shape you can add another square in a third or a second x form uh, with a new post group and find another shape there and you can move it ar around with a triangle to build shapes that can be very interesting and a very fun way to make fractals okay that's it for now